now I am. I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> My name is Zelda, and you are watching Zelda Sews. And I am so excited you're here. I'm joining you with my cup of coffee. This is Maxwell House today. In my cup, it says, I'd rather be sewing and Zelda. So, besides talking with you, I'd rather be sewing. <laughs> so, this is Friday. So this is Friday Sews, and this is where we get a chance to share our makes, our plans, and a little bit about life. And I believe this is week number 48 for me. We make sure, and yes, it is. Um, I cannot believe it. I'm almost at 50 weeks, almost at 52 weeks, which makes a year. And I am moving closer and closer to 1K. And I thank you for that. I thank you. Welcome to those that are new or just popped in, maybe one or two videos. Welcome to you. And to those that are returning video after video, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. Okay. I'm going to start off with the question of the week, which is... Are you a quilter? What's the favorite quilt thing you've ever made? Actual, actual quilt or quilted thing? Actual quilt. I made a king size quilt. I sewed, machine sewed it together, but hand quilted the top and the batting and the, the backing. I hand quilted that and it took me months, months, months. Uh, the whole project took over a year because I was pregnant. And so I, that tells you how long ago it was. It was pretty, a long time ago. That quilt has long disappeared in its original form, but I have layered it on top of layers over the years. So it's, it's, it's still my favorite because I know what was under there. It was a log cabin quilt and Oh, so beautiful it was. And the next thing that kind of goes along with it is what I have on my, I think it's my, my banner, my banner. And it's a crazy quilt that I made also years ago that I really, really love. And I did not dabble too much with sewing other than trying to, I sewed my own clothes, but I didn't use patterns. So that's the only thing that the actually the log cabin quilt was the only thing I used a pattern for and it was just originally how to sew the pieces together and then that was it but yeah that was my experience with quilt and I do like quilt I do I just don't do I don't follow the rules of quilting I just do my own thing and and I use my everything that I make. I decided I'm not going to make something and say, nope, you can't use it. You can't touch it. Nope, not going to do that. I want to enjoy it. I want my family to enjoy whatever I give to them. And sometimes it's just starting off here. Go ahead and use this to blah, blah, blah. Yes. So my make, you are looking at it right now. This is my cashmere Vernon shirt. I bought this pattern last year and never attempted to mess with it. So now I am. I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay, I'm not so cool. I um uh, I made this. I got stuck on the collar stand at first I didn't understand it and I got through it but I did get some help from Caroline's handmaids and Caroline and from Stacy Stacy Robbins they both helped me 
to get through the collars. I mean, the cup situation. I was having so much trouble with this, and I just went on and sewed it the way Caroline told me it's supposed to go. And I found another way to do the cuffs. So I may try that to see if I like that better. I don't know. We'll we'll see. But it is done. It is comfortable. It does not, it's not tight. I made a 22, a straight 22 with the GH cup. And I have I have room. I have a couple extra inches in in the front part here, but I'll I'll put a, a video up over here of me in this so that you can see it. I feel comfortable. I have arm room. I it's right at my shoulders. It is going to be remade in the other patchwork. Uh, fabric that I have. It has more of like a, a pale, like a blue, baby blue and pinks in it, just like this, except for it's it's one of those colors there. I'm not going to let my coffee get cold. It, it, that should be done. Um, I enjoy after I understood what I was doing, I enjoyed this. And the buttons, I did all my buttons on the machine, on the sewing machine. I ran into trouble with one, one button hole making. And I ended up having to do it just right next to it. I was going to pick the other ones out. And I just said, nope, nobody should be looking at me that close um, to see that. I have a buttonhole that's not there, but I pick these buttons. Next time, I think maybe I would pick something a little bit smaller because the buttonholes went past the placket just a little bit. But I like the buttons. I like the brown. I just went into my bag of buttons and chose the 11 that I could find that matched wasn't very picky on the actual the colors of it. it I just have a, a bag of brown buttons and hey it works let's see um, it took me it took me a little while this is the first time but I'll time it the next time I do it just to kind of see how long it takes to do cutting it out now I know what I'm doing I'm going to write down on my instruction sheet here the instructions where I had some difficulty. Just write down what got me through it because I will tend to forget and I don't want to do that. I don't I don't want to do that, but it feels good. It feels very good. The only thing being long sleeve here in the summer. Ugh. I might not like that, but I, I can unbutton this and roll it up a little bit. I have room in my arm to, to, to roll it up. But the church, I wear long sleeves most of the time because it's a little chilly. And this will be great, but if it's too hot, well, I'll just get over it. I'll get over it. Okay, let's see what else is going on in my world. Tony is still embroidering, and I'm going to move right here just for a second so you can see some of what he has embroidered. I love the, the which one is it? I love the mushrooms, but he just did another one, and I can't think. Uh, um, a fox, a fox. So I probably will have put it up already. It is, it's so pretty. I had to go out to the store and buy him the silvery white embroidery floss so that he could embroider that there. He was saying, well, 
it could be a different color. I was like, no, no, it needs to be nice and white and bright. So he didn't say no when I said, I can go out to get that for you. He's like, okay. <laughs> so I went and got that for him. And I thought I was going to have to go buy him some thread for his mushroom, but he he had enough. But I told him he needs to come with me to Hobby Lobby or come with me to join fabrics and look at some of the embroidery floss. It's, you know, it's just fun. It's just like going in for fabric. It gives me a reason to go in, another reason to go in. <laughs> so, yeah. So he's embroidering and doing great. Uh, life still appointments. Appointments have gone well. We had doctor appointments. Oh. All of them were good appointments. There were follow-up appointments, and we got good reports, and so thankful to God for that. Next thing I'm going to work on plan-wise to sew, I want to sew, like I said, I do want to make another one of these, and I, I will. I don't know if this will be the next thing I make. I think this is going to be the next thing I make because... Um, this is Simplicity 8590. Let me show you the line drawings on the back. Pretty simple. I I like this one. Somebody said, I like that one. I said, oh, okay. I wouldn't make it this short. I probably would go like maybe mid-calf. I'm not sure if this one right here. This one, I see her knees. This one, I don't so it may be just a hair longer but just a hair longer than that not the maxi all the way to the floor floor length i don't want that and i will do it with the sleeve on it i don't like the cold shoulder but i want to do it using this orange fabric that i what's that i thought something dropped this it's nice and stretchy I mean, it's just got, it's got nice, a nice stretch, nice recovery. And it said it only needs a little over, I, I think, for the, let's say, just say for A, for the 3X, you need, it says 2 and 5 2 and 5 eighths yard and I have three so I can make this a little bit longer and it is 50 inch wide fabric so I am real excited about that I may I think by it being so um, stretchy I normally do 3x and it gives me a little bit of room but I'm not sure if I should do like a in between 2x and 3x um what do you think with this type of fabric i'm not i'm not sure i can always do three and if it's too big i can size down so that that is an option i'm trying not to to do that but i will see we'll see what what comes of it and Let's see. Oh, no grandbabies this week. No grandbabies this week. You know what? When they're not here, I miss them. When they're here, I'm like, oh, I'm exhausted sometimes. But I love the exhaustion. Don't get me wrong. I love my grandbabies. They just have so much more energy than me. And now the other one is starting to almost walk. She's taking four steps on her own. And she realized she's like, uh, 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 oops. I'm, I'm not holding on to anything, and then she drops it down. So it's coming where she's just going, and I can run into the kitchen. She can crawl just as fast behind me to, to get to me. So I, I miss that. I love that. I really do. But no grandbabies this week, so Tony and I have the house together. I can sew. He can embroider. And then we can watch movies at night. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're not getting away without a scripture. No, no, no. Okay. It is from 
Roman 8, verses 38 and 39. Okay. Oh, let me, let me see. Let me show you. Oh, I'm not sure if you saw that. I'm using my Bible. My, my fabric Bible. Book, bookmark. Okay, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. A, 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 men. Oh, that's good work. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have made it this far in the video and have not hit the like button, please go ahead and hit that like button. It does help me in my um on my channel here and if you have not subscribed and if there's anything that you like that um, made you watch this long go ahead and hit the subscribe button that helps me too I appreciate you so much and I pray that you have an awesome day have a blessed day happy sewing I will see you in the comments and you'll see me on my next upload bye for now